So, question four, the differential equations question. Um, solve the differential equation e to the 2y divided by the x plus 10x is 0. Remember, before we do anything else, we need to get it so that we've got, we've got kind of whole expressions on the left involving y and on the right involving x. So let's rearrange this before we do anything else. We've got e to the 2y, that's quite nice because that's in the right place already, is minus 10x. So let's start with that. Now we integrate both sides with respect to x. This gives us e to the 2y dy is the integral of minus 10x dx. It's supposed to be an equal sign there. Okay, well, e to the 2y, that's all right. That, that's a standard integral. That would be a half e to the 2y. Now, minus 10x. What we, what we could do is we could go to the uh, formula booklet. Where I think this is there. Yeah, it's 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 okay, so Hang on, that's if you differentiate sex squared, you get tan, but that doesn't help us here. Who's wrong? Okay, if we look in the formula booklet, it's there as being natural log of sec. Remember, if you've got any doubts about that, the, the way that we have of integrating 10x is we think of 10x as being sine over cos. If 10x is sine over cos, the top is the derivative of the bottom. And, uh, and so we can use that rule to do it, we can use the great rule to do it. And so it's the natural log of cos x. But of course, because the top is the negative of the derivative of the bottom, it's minus natural log of cos x. And cos x all to the power of minus 1 is 1 over cos x, which is sec x. So it's natural log of sec x. This minus sign here, kind of makes us think we, we should be able to do something with that. Minus ln sec x. Well, that means the natural log of the reciprocal of sec x. So before we do anything else... Could I borrow this gentleman for one minute? Yes. Yes. We'll pause the video and we'll merge it together as one seamless thing using the power of... Hey, did you miss me? So we've got to this, right, now look, we were just about to do something really cool here because we've noticed that minus ln sec x, we can write that, oh this is good, as ln cos x. Because sec x all to the minus 1, the reciprocal of sec x is cos x. Ooh. Now, we do also know that when x is 0, y is 0. So that will allow us to find c, hopefully. Notice it doesn't just mean that c is 0. Oh no, we wouldn't make that mistake. So at the point 0, 0, we've got half e to the 0, which is half times 1. Is natural log of cos 0, well cos 0 is 1, natural log of 1 is 0, so c equals a half. Okay, we're there, we've got a half e to the 2y is ln cos x plus a half. However, the question wants us to write it in the form y is a function of x, so we've got to do something with that. Let's get rid of the halves by doubling everything. Now let's, we need to get y on its own here, so let's take natural log of both sides. Just because it, it looks slightly nicer, I've written that in the opposite order, 1 plus 2 ln cos x. So the natural log is 1 plus 2 ln cos x. It feels really uncomfortable, doesn't it, to have a natural log inside a natural log function, but that's where we are. So y is a half ln 1 plus 2 ln the modulus of cos x 
It doesn't feel like much of an answer, but that's the answer. Does it? It doesn't. That's as far as we're going to get. Oh, yeah. And that's maths. <laughs>